Let me show you a brand new way to change the background of any picture in Photoshop. And this new method literally takes less than 10 seconds using AI in Photoshop. And you could literally with text explain what you want in the background. And I'll show you a few different ways to fine tune this to get the best results. The first thing you need is you need this latest version of Photoshop that has AI built into it to do this. The old method just takes far too long to do. And I'll put a link in the description. It's currently in beta. It might be released by the time you watch this, but anybody could do this right now. The beta version doesn't have any watermarks. It's accessible to everyone. And then Adobe is going to install this Creative Cloud app on your computer. And here, if you go to the Apps tab, you don't want the regular Photoshop right now. You want the beta app of Photoshop, which is this one. By the time it becomes Photoshop 2024, then you could just install the regular app and it will have this option. At this time, it's Photoshop beta and I downloaded it from here and I opened it. The next thing you wanna do is you wanna obviously bring in your image. So let me show you where I get my images. So I get my images from another platform called Envato Elements. I get basically everything I use in all my videos. They have stock photos, they have stock videos, they have music all in one place. So this is a place where I get all my images. But what's really great now with this new update, stock photos just become so much more useful. So I was looking here for a model in a gym, but a lot of these basically were inside of a studio or in front of a pool, but I really wanted them to be in a gym, right? But the one model that I found, this one here was inside of a studio, right? But now with Photoshop, because I could in 10 seconds put them in a gym, this makes this platform far more useful. So this one will be linked with all the resources below too. And I'll just download this here. Now this photo is inside my download folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click here or command click with a Mac and open with Photoshop beta. And now I have this photo and look how easy the rest of this process is. All I have to do is select my subject just using this panel right here, select subject, this is gonna do a really good job just with one click selecting my subject. Now, all I have to do is invert that selection. Well, they have a icon for that right here. I could click this. Now that selects my entire background, leaving the subject unselected. So two clicks so far. Now I could click generative fill. This is the AI tool right here. And I could describe what I want in the background. So in this case, I'm just gonna type in Jim. You could give it a little bit more detail than that and I'll just press generate and look what happens in one click. And look at this very first result I got. It just put her in a very natural place in the gym. It created shadows where shadows should be. And here you get a variations option as well. And if I don't like the result at all, I could press generate one more time and it's gonna give me three different results, again, in the gym, but I could change that word or description anytime to get a different type of background too. So now she's in a whole different gym. But let me show you a couple of things that may happen here. Sometimes the refinement, especially with this beta version, is not gonna be perfect. So what you could do is, right here is created this other layer that I could always turn on and off. This basically puts her in this new gym from the previous background. But this is very editable. So you have this mask here, this layer mask is created. So you could actually tweak this layer mask here. It has a couple of different sliders. But what I like to do is, I could either subtract or add to the mask. So I could select subtract. And this way I could take my brush here. And if you choose the bracket key, you could make a smaller or larger here, the bracket key on your keyboard. So you could make really small adjustments here to make sure it's actually perfect here. And I'm assuming by the time they roll this out, this is not gonna be that much of an issue. But right now, sometimes you have to go around different sections here to make it perfect. And sometimes add to the mask and just kind of make a nice refinement here to get the result that you want if your selection is not perfect. Let me delete that one. This time, let me try to put her on the beach, see what we get. Again, I could select the mask here. I got a couple of different refinements I could make by adding or subtracting from the mask to fix things around her fingers, for example. But how fast is that compared to what you used to have to do before this came out? We're also rolling out an entire learning platform to learn AI, especially in the world of creativity and productivity with entire courses, entire full tutorials and download resources, all in one Netflix style subscription. Make sure you check that out, link below in the description. Thanks so much for watching this video and I hope to see you next time.